This is Campus Lower Live. I'm Riley Skinner, as always, joined with Lockdown Corner Jalen Ramsey from Florida State University and the Blitnikoff Award winner Marquise Lee from <laughs> University of Southern Cal. Fellas, before we get into rivalry week, I gotta give credit where credit's due. Mr. Marquise Lee Thank went you. five and zero oh on our picks last Thank week. You. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank and much. repping his USC sweatshirt for the win over UCLA. his rival UCLA. Nice work, man. <laughs> Appreciate you. But man. hey, four and one though. Jalen Ramsey, four and one. Unfortunately, I was two and three. We won't talk about that. But hey, where we? I tell you one thing. We debated last week hotly was Notre Dame Navy. Navy had it in the bag, man, and let Notre Dame come back. What, Marquise, you got a, you got a little personal opinion on Notre Dame. What do you think that said about them overall when they were being talked about the, you know, playing in the college football playoffs few <coughs> weeks ago? I mean, clearly they're they're not good enough to be in the top four. Um, but I just knew. I mean, they took a tough L last the week before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I they had to regroup and come back. I mean, it was a close game, don't get me wrong. It was. But. Man, I would have loved us to got that one right. Yeah. But. Hey, you, was, hey, you, you was pretty, you was pretty confident. I, I was. I was, I was pretty really confident. confident. I was, too. I'm not going to lie to you. I was really confident about that. But, hey, mm. let's talk about the USC-UCLA game. It was a good game. Two-star quarterback. <clears throat> I want to get your opinion, both of y'all's opinion. You got Sam Darnold. And Josh Rosen, two of the top two quarterbacks coming out this year's draft, they put on a show. But Josh Rosen now is 0-3 in the big game, never beat USC. And Sam Darnold right now has 19 picks, leading all of college football in turnovers right now. You think that hurts their draft stock? A little bit. It'd be fine, though. You got to think, it's a stereotype of quarterbacks. I'm going to think it's just Quarterbacks when going to the draft and things like that get the benefit of the doubt in most cases. Um, um, depending on how many quarterbacks is actually coming out and things like that, they probably still swindle up being within the top, what, 20? They put, they put a lot more of teams. weight on, on their positives and their negatives. I mean, yeah. See, my thing is you can they can take an L right now. You can say, yeah, it might affect them. But then again, if you go out there to the combine and, and every throw is on point, yeah. You you test well, then all of a sudden they'll start tooting your horn once again yeah. and you'll be at the top of the thing. Yeah. I have to agree with you. I, I think both of them are really good quarterbacks. I think they're almost too too good right now for their system. And they just try to <laughs> they try to show off their arm, you know, every play rather than playing kind of within within the game and that caused a lot of turnovers. But that UCLA quarterback is good though. He's really good. Like I watched him a little bit more than I have been watching him. And, and I noticed that he's he's he's, he's good. Yeah. But well, he's a winner though. See, I, that's a good question. I mean, film doesn't lie. I mean, you make bad decisions, you you kind of tense up in big games. Sam Darnold won a lot of games. I feel like yeah, true. But then he had a lot of players which been dropping balls for him in a, in a lot of cases. I don't know. I watched a couple games where he needed his players and they dropped some crucial balls. I mean. That's not every game though, so I don't know. I mean, I can understand. You're right. Can he win? Yeah. I need, I need I need a winner. Like at the end of the day, I mean I played with Jameis his uh his red shirt sophomore year. And he had a ton of picks yeah. that year because he was he was trying to make plays, he was trying to force stuff, but at the end of the day he found a way to lead the team to victory every week. We went we went on the whole season and continued to win and he and it translated into the NFL. translated into the NFL. Uh, that's a good point. That's a good point. I, I think at the end of the day, both of them are going to be probably one and two we'll quarterbacks. Because a lot of people talked about golf and wins being crap. And look at them boys. That's true. That is true. That is true. Especially. I still think golf is trash. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. I didn't think he was that good either. I'm watching this year, good. bro. He's, He's doing not. pretty solid. It, the system, the system it, is helping him this it year. It works. He, this, his system works it this works. year. It works. I like the truth. Hey, well, let me ask you a question. So we got some big openings right now from a coaching standpoint. Your boys in Southern Cal just got Jim Moore fired at UCLA. Now you got Tennessee and you got Florida. Three pretty big jobs mm. wide open right now. Mm. Well, let me ask you a question, Jalen. There's been rumors Tennessee's talking to, trying to talk to Jimbo Fisher. They can try, but they will not succeed. No? 
There is no chance. There is a zero percent chance that Jimbo leaves Florida State. Why is that? Uh, you think Florida State is that much better of a job than Tennessee? Yeah. Yes. He, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. There's zero percent chance that he leaves uh, Florida State for Tennessee. Even if they rolled out three to four million extra. Zero percent chance. I like the confidence. I hope he doesn't leave either. I think he's in a perfect position. Yeah. Zero percent chance. At Florida State. What about UCLA? I mean, you think, how would you compare UCLA's job to somebody like a Florida or Tennessee? You grew up in the West Coast. You know what that's like. I mean, is that a, is that a high-demand job, big-time national-level job that a lot of people want? It depends on, yeah, not a lie. I mean, it, you just got to hold your own out there. There's so many teams out there in L.A., you know, they get a mix of the media as far as, you just got to hold your own. Yeah. You know, Lakers doing this. The Kings doing this. Uh, the Rams are now doing this. You know what I'm saying? So what is UCLA doing? You still going to have your part where you got to show what you're doing. So it's like you got to hold your ground. So my thing is as a, as a coach, I mean, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. As a coach coming out there as far as, you know, you're trying to be one of the upper tier teams, you know, as far as being – so many teams out there, so you want UCLA name to be called. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, you got the paper. What you seeing? UCLA. Then you seeing the Lakers behind. Yeah. Then you seeing the Kings behind. You know, it's like at that, at, in, at, at LA is all about who's going to win. It's a, it's a fine line. I think I, I agree with you, actually, because you got two things. You got one, the SEC and the ACC, most of those schools, that's the only thing in their state or in their area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But at the same time, you probably got a shorter leash because fans have crazy expectations for ACC and SEC, SEC schools, at least in the South. But you go out, and you're the biggest deal there, but you go on the West Coast, and you're, I mean, competing with the Lakers. And that was my thing. Dominant like, Oh, yeah, I, was, I thought I was doing good enough to make the papers out there in Cali, but then you got Kobe over there scoring <laughs> 40. You score, Kobe scored 20, it don't matter. You still going to get in the paper before you, you know what I'm saying? So Even if Marquise Lee pops off for like 225 and three touches, and Kobe has 35, it's going to be Kobe. Yeah, hey, I'll put Kobe in there too, what you mean? That's going to be Kobe. <laughs> that's going to be it. I think that's probably one of the hot jobs, though, that UCLA job. They gonna have, That's going to be a key hire for them, though. They got to pick somebody popular. Mm -hmm. Yes. Help. Going to recruit well, that's uh, the relate to the young dudes. Yeah. That's the thing about California. If you can get, like, that's why, if I, you that's can why personally get, I thought Lane Kiffin was good for the perfect. USC job. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. he that type of dude. He yeah. Yeah. He he on Twitter, he on all the social medias. He cool, he, he vibe. Yeah. He fit that, that. Cali type. You liked him when you when yeah. he was there. I, I, a I, lot. I, I, I can't. I ain't gonna lie to you. Kip is a good dude, man. Yeah, he's a good dude. You get to know him, he's a real good dude. Yeah. Now that's a good point, though. <clears throat> All right, I want to. I gotta ask you boys about my man Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Sad man. Right, <laughs> right man. now, I Sad mean, he's a clear front runner as a Heisman candidate. The dude had some gestures this past weekend against Kansas. Grabbed himself a little bit. Mouthed off. To the other sideline. I love that. Yeah. I love all that. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, yeah. He didn't get. I mean, yeah. my. That's come on. He, so, he didn't so, do it during the game. Huh? He didn't do it during the game. I think it's a man. People say crazy stuff it was, out there. It was during the game. It oh, was, when they it do was it? during the game. Well, well, he, he got a flag. No, he didn't not, get a flag. Well, it was, he was on, he was the, on side the sideline. Line. He was on the sideline. Not like uh, actually during I the mean, play. He's straight. He didn't get a flag. That's what I'm saying. I love that. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm one of his teammates and I'm sitting over there. I'm like, yo, our quarterback bout it. Yeah. Our quarterback bout it and I'm behind him hundred percent. I love that. I think yeah. there's I think there's no doubt in the world he's got every dude in that locker room. Yeah. Everyone that go to battle with. People say the craziest stuff when behind you. You know what I'm saying? So you can just imagine what they were just saying behind him. Then on top of that, to start the game, they didn't even shake his hand. Right. Like, I'm a hundred disrespect him like, first. You feel yeah. me? He know how good he is, and he, he know he's a good quarterback. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, regardless if he's a good quarterback or not, you feel me? You got to just respect, go out there, shake a hand, and let it rock. I don't know what he did before the game for them to do that, and I doubt he did something, but shake the man hand, and that probably would have never happened. Shake the man hand, then go get your butt whipped. So how about this? So Lincoln Riley has decided to not start. So the dude has started <laughs> 37 games straight. For Oklahoma. He's going to hold passing records for a while there. 
and he's not starting on the last game of the season because of that. You, you I, disagree with that? I disagree 100% with that. Yeah, that but I feel like he has to do it. Once again, going back to uh, my experience in college with Jameis, um, <coughs> yeah. when he had a <laughs> incident in during during school. Yeah. Um, honestly, none of us really cared in the football. Right. In the locker room. Honestly, I don't think any of our coaches cared. But they had to. They had to suspend him. They had to show. Uh, you know, technically, this isn't what we're about. He shouldn't have done this. Blah blah blah. Even though nobody wanted to suspend him, we yeah. didn't really think he should have been suspended. It kind of you. You have to do that. So you think. As a player, as a teammate, does that fire you up even more when he finally comes out on the field, maybe like second quarter of the game, and he's back from a suspension ready to play? Like, geez, it's almost like motivation to you players. Yeah. Oh, it's going to well, be late when he get back in. When he get you, back in, it's on. But you just better hope, you just better hope it's, yeah, that you ain't getting blown out or right. nothing too <laughs> yeah. bad before the, that point. But I'm pretty sure if they if they start losing, I'm pretty sure the coach is going to put him in. Yeah. Quick and in a hurry. Fast. Yeah. It's like the Buffalo game this past weekend. Like, <laughs> I don't know what Buffalo was trying to do with Tyrod. Yeah. And then you put somebody in, and he throws, what, 13 passes out of 13? He had five picks or nine passes. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It was you know crazy. what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. a backfire. Like, and, and, and I just don't want that to happen. The only reason the only reason why I think it was kind of smart to do something for him is because most likely the dude's going to win the Heisman. Yeah, and right. to get those Heisman votes – I think you still have to discipline him at some point and him show some remorse, which he did. I mean, he verbally and in writing wrote a letter publicly apologizing right after the game. So I think he's handled it all correctly. I don't know. Just not start him for his last game of the, his, his career, game. of a historic career in Oklahoma <laughs> football. I think that's shot. And that's he's been brutal. playing straight. Like, come on, nigga. I think that's shot. Yeah. Like, don't mess up, especially if you, I mean. I don't agree with it. Yeah. yeah. It is what it is. So you, th- you think it has any effect of him winning the Heisman, though? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Yeah. Come on. At the end of the day, what? The Nibby fact that he says those BS. words is going to affect how you play on the field. You still go exactly. out there and perform. Exactly. Yeah. You, know I mean? you still have to do the work. Yeah. All right. Let's talk a little rival week. We got it coming up, baby. Best weekend of college football, in my opinion. <laughs> so, we got Florida State, Florida. <laughs> and UCLA, USC was last week. Any particular moments, plays, fan interactions, pre-game fights that you can remember from rivalry week? Or like, what's it like, Florida State, Florida, leading up the week of the game? Uh, Florida State, Florida, it, it was a cool rivalry. I, me, personally, I like the Miami rivalry more. I wish yeah. that was uh, the one at the end. I, to, to me, personally, that was more to me. Um I love that rivalry. I mean, buses going in, Miami fans shaking our bus, throwing beer bottles at our bus. We love that. <laughs> um, then we go out there and dog them on the field. Like, we love that. Uh, Florida, uh, in my career, they were always trash. Like, it was it was kind of hard, not hard to get up for that game, but they were just trash. So, we, we kind of knew we just had to handle business. Um, so, it wasn't, it would be, when you were playing, it was not as big of a rival. As Miami, even though Miami wasn't very good for me, either for, when y'all were playing, it was just I, the actually game. every my freshman year. Uh, no, my all three years, Miami was actually undefeated. Uh, oh yeah, at the time when we played them, and then after we beat them, then they lost like five straight <laughs> or something. Uh, so it was a it was a big amped up game. It was a night game every time. Um, the Miami, the Miami rivalry was just live in general. It was live, man. We had good and we had good games with them, especially my sophomore year. We had really good games. You ever get them. into it with anybody before, before, or during the game with Miami? Uh, no, nah, they didn't. They didn't want. They didn't want those problems. Uh, <laughs> I mean, their fans, Miami fans, are crazy, man. Um, but it, it was what it was. And then with Florida, I mean, how would you describe a Florida fan? Uh. Sad. Sad. <laughs> Bunch of sad fans out there. Uh, oh, you know, he's crazy. It's sad. <laughs> Boot, bootleg, bootleg Florida State Miami fans. It's sad, man. Um, you know, 
<laughs> uh, sorry, man. Gators, man. This fans are sad. Probably one of the best responses. Nah, they're, they're, <laughs> sad. they're never sad. happy about anything. Sad. Some sad fans, man. It's just some sad fans. It was cool though. During the whole week, we ate Gator Tail. Um, oh yeah. In the yeah, in the calf, we ate Gator Tail all week. Uh, I didn't the know one, that. that. Is that a tradition of Florida State? Yeah, tradition. They they probably over there eating some gator tail right now. Um, taking to go boxes of gator tail. It was the Florida <laughs> rivalry was kind of fun just because the Florida players, they're kind of known for talking trash on Twitter and Instagram. Like, yeah. They'll you know they some they like that Twitter beef that Instagram beef um, before they get stomped. You like the on-field stuff. Stop. Yeah, we, we, we we're about that on-field action. That's so you guys win. We're gonna beat them. Basically, what you're saying. Yeah, this is the this is the this is the poop bowl this year. Both <laughs> team both teams not too good, but uh, I still got Florida State dragging them. Yeah. yeah, I still got Florida State dragging them. So what about you? I know UCLA is one of y'all's biggest rivals, but who man, else, who else did you hate playing against your year? I mean, while you were playing Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of the coach. He don't give respect when respect is due. They don't give respect. You just think they hold themselves with arrogance. Nah, it's just like if you, if you beat them, bad. All he gonna say is that team had a bad game. We threw picks. We made bad decisions. Since that and the other, that that that, that that that. I mean, I haven't like I came what my first year we blew them out. Um, second year, um, they beat us. It's third year they beat us too, but the third year was third year I didn't play. Third year I didn't play. Second year uh, we had that back to back joint. Remember when Kiffin yeah. we was on a one yard line and we was on a one yard line for six minutes? Oh yeah, I do remember that. I do and remember Kiffin that. Kiffin kept motioning the full back out to run die. Right, get to third down, throw the fade to me, pi, run it again, motion under. So then we was like, all right, Kiffin played it, called another play. Then they decided to throw the ball to the fullback. Lost the game. We was on the one yard line for six Sad. minutes, bro. Jeez. That's what he don't Six that's minutes. Don't, I was man, yeah. never again. But they still weak. I'll let you know that now. Trash. Man. Notre Dame, trash. This year, trash. They beat us. Still trash. Don't matter. So the biggest game of this week, probably of the season, Iron Bowl. Yes, sir. Auburn, Alabama. For it, I mean, this is national <coughs> title or college football playoff implications, SEC West implications, SEC championship, all that good stuff. Both teams are pretty hot right now. Yeah. Who do y'all got? Bama. Bama, for sure. Both of y'all. Yeah, I got Bama, man. And you're right, this is the hottest game of the year until the SEC championship. And that's the hottest <laughs> game of the year. Um, I think... I think Georgia, Georgia versus Auburn, a rematch, or Georgia versus Bama will be a better game than, than the Iron Bowl. Than the Iron Bowl. The Iron Bowl is going to be good though, no, no doubt about it. I think the Iron Bowl is going to. So be you think good. Auburn's getting is getting a little overhyped right now? I mean, people are talking. I mean, they did, they're good. They did. They're supposed to get that hype though. Yeah. So I wouldn't say they overly hyped. You feel what I'm saying? They they did what they supposed to. They won some big games and things yeah, like that. Sure. I mean, that Georgia game was big. Yeah, Play, yeah. and they're playing this at Auburn. Oh, that's nice. big. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's I ain't never that's been big. in it, so I don't know. That's big. The place gets rocking. It's gonna be rocking, but at the same time, what that um, mean? you think Baba fans they gonna travel? Oh, they, they travel. No, they're gonna yeah, travel. Exactly. There's no doubt. They're but gonna still, travel. though, it's gonna be rocking. But Bama, we hyped. I mean, uh, what is what is Auburn's strength? Their uh, their run game, yeah. right? Yeah. Bama's gonna stop all that. Yeah, they're they're run game, not against Bama. Not and, against and, Bama. And I'm if I'm Nick Saban, I'm I'm playing man with the with the DBs. With the DBs. I'm gonna stop that run. We're gonna play man to man. You got arguably the best DB in in yeah. college football with Minka. Yeah. I mean, their offense gonna have to make some shake, but it's gonna be a. I think it'll be a defensive type game. Whoever well, makes whoever makes the least amount of mistakes. Yeah. We're going, it's going to take over the game. Take it. But I got Bama. Though. And typically, that's Alabama. Yeah, I got Bama. Yeah. All right. Well, well, speaking of picks, let's pick some of the uh, let's pick some of the rival games this week. So we got we got five for you, Mister Five and O. We'll start with you. Thank you. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank All right. First, one, we got the Apple Cup. Washington State 
at Washington, number 14 against number 18. Who you got? I'm going to have to go watch this state. Mm, yeah? Mm, mm. You got Mike Leach's team, huh? Yeah. All right. They're playing one of the top defenses in Washington. You like Washington or Washington State? I ain't going to lie to you. I don't know too much about either team. <laughs> uh, Washington got some players. But uh, Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to go with Washington because I've seen uh, I've seen some highlights of some of their – Games and stuff. And they got a punt returner. That's, I was just about to that's say, my Pettis? boy yeah. Pettis. That's, yeah. my, that's my best friend. Pettis is a yeah. dog on them punt returns. He's nasty. I got Washington. I'm gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna go Washington as well. I think some special team plays. It's gonna be one of his last games before he hey comes man, out. Hey man, here we go. Me and you that, picking. I did before. Uh, no, I, I, I know, know what happened before. Me, <laughs> it didn't work out. I know what happened before. before. <laughs> no worries. Come on, man. Hey, pick Washington. Don't worry. We got some other. We got. Couple more chances to disagree. Yeah, who knows? Georgia, 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 Georgia Tech. Come on now. That's a good point. I'm not even really. We're not going to go into that because Georgia Tech just had a bad L against Duke coming into this game. Not gonna <laughs> we're going to chalk that one up to Georgia. And I tell you what, though, Georgia Tech, even when they haven't been that good in the last few years, they beat them the last two out of three. But this is a different Georgia team. Like yeah. we're all going Georgia here. Yeah, Georgia, yeah. All right. I think we can take right or uh, records out the window. For the game, Ohio State at Michigan. Is that what it's called, the game? It's called the game. That's terrible because it's not really the game. Here's the stat. If Michigan loses this game, though, Jim Harbaugh is going to be 0-3 versus Ohio State and 1-7 versus top 15 teams or top 10 teams. It's about to happen. That's crazy. But he keep, you know, he's, getting, he's one of the highest paid coaches in the country. He is. He brings that, he brings that swag. You know, they got brings that juice to his, to the program. Yeah, They're gonna keep Michigan giving out. them a few more years of opportunity. He did help Michigan out though. Yeah, he helped. He Michigan did. Out. No, they turned around Michigan. a little bit. Yeah, he yeah. hasn't performed in the big game. He's not. He, he won't either. Yeah, he might take this L too. Yeah, he's gonna take, <laughs> he gonna take that L in the big one game. One and eight, brother. Y'all, but y'all, <laughs> one and eight. So everybody's taking Ohio State here. Yeah, I'm gonna take Ohio State too because I thought Michigan was gonna beat Wisconsin last week and I was dead wrong. I know, so, right? <laughs> All right, this is a, this one scares me. Number two, Clemson at South Carolina at night. Gamecocks are kind of sneaky. Eight and three right now, starting to play better at the end of the season. Clemson still number two in the country, number three in the country. <clears throat> I'm going Clemson. Clemson. They yeah. know they can't take L right now, Clemson. so they got to come out with some fire. I love when ACC teams beat SEC teams. I love it. Florida State going to beat Florida this week. Clemson's going to beat South Carolina. I love that. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be oh, so sick if this Florida was, beats Florida State. It's not gonna happen. I don't even know Florida got. Nobody. But I'm going with Florida just because. You're going with Florida just because? I appreciate that. Just because. That Florida? So Keith is going Florida. I, I know appreciate who you're that. Ooh, don't let me go 5 0 now. I'm gonna have, I'm have to make you some calls, man. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm going Florida with you, man. Ooh, I, I love it. Florida with you. I love it. <laughs> I, I love it. I just haven't seen it. I love it. Florida State. I love it. As I watch Florida State, I haven't seen so anything here, from so Florida. So here's why. I haven't seen anything from Florida. Let me ask you a question because you, I think you've been through this situation. You play in a rival game that you typically look forward to every year. They're playing with an interim head coach. Did you play with an interim head coach with yeah. Coach O when you played UCLA? Uh, Is that a very coach different o dynamic a... within the locker room, like in preparation, players all jacked up, kind of. I mean, for the most part, you are you already assume, uh, assume like, oh, the players who's leaving is leaving. Yeah. So, in my mind, if I'm a young guy, I'm going to think I'm hyped. Why? Because yeah. I got my last game with my boy. You feel me? So, we going to have to rock out. Yeah. Then, on top of that, we get to see what we got until next year. You know what I'm saying? So, I look, I mean, that's how I look at it. So, I mean, that's how they should come into it as far as Florida. Like, okay, it's my last year with the boys that I've been with. Right. For my four years, that's the fun part about it. That's the main thing about it. But then at the end of the day, okay, now some of the young players really going to play. And let's see what we got going for next year. Yeah. Let's get out there. And then we start off by bleeding, beating Florida State. Like, like how how is hey, that not great? Yeah. yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, how is that not great? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you going to watch it. Then you got Jalen Hyde on the next episode. Hey, let us let us lose, and I ain't, I'm, I ain't showing them next week. <laughs> I think if he, I think if they I'm lose, they got to show up next week as some kind of Florida gear on. Ooh, Never will happen. Never will happen. Don't do that one. Don't do that one. 
All right, so both of y'all like Bama. I'm going with Auburn. I think Auburn's riding a wave right now, man. You know they're, what? I'm not going to lie to you. They're legit. You might go, what you went? You went two and three last <laughs> week? Three. You <laughs> might go one and four this week. Dang, I'm with you, you on one of those. might go one and four. I'm, tell. I'm with you on one of those, huh? Which, Change it. Yeah, you know what? Change it. Change it. Everybody wants Change to get on my bus. Hey, yeah, your bus pretty bad. <laughs> two and three. Oh, man, we're no, one Two and three last week. This no, week, you might go one and four. This is where I start coming back, though. I'm taking, I'm taking Auburn. Listen, I'm already five and zero, so you, you still got to catch up to where I'm at. I, I've got, a, I got a little while to go, man. But, uh, but hey, rivalry week. It's gonna be a fun week of football. We'll check in next week and see where we go, yeah. fellas. Appreciate it. It was fun as always. Yeah, I know it. That's it. Campus Florida Live this week.